How to shade drawings. This is something I've seen many new artists struggle with, but it's actually not that hard once you get to know the basics. In this video, I'm going to be going over two ways to shade drawings. One is going to be normal shading with colors, and the other is going to be using strong blacks to shade. First, I'm going to start off with a simple example with a circle. One of the most important things about shading is knowing where your light source is coming from. The shaded part of your drawing is going to be the opposite of where the light is hitting. Since the light is hitting the top left of the circle, the shaded part would be at the bottom right. Make sure to add curvature to your shade so it doesn't look flat. Because after all, the whole point of shading is to make your drawing look more three-dimensional. What I'm doing here is adding a cast shadow. The cast shadow here is a result of the circle blocking the light. Here's what the final result looks like. As you can see, it makes the circle look more 3D. Using the basics we just learned, we can now shade a more complex drawing. I like to start by putting down my flat colors. A flat color is what a color looks like without any shade. Now that I have all my flat colors down, I can start to shade. I'm going to make the light source come from the top left, which would make the shade go to the bottom right. There are two ways you can shade. I'll show you the most basic one first. You can just go along the side that should be shaded and add your shade into it. Now this can work, but it just doesn't really give off that third dimension. Just like when I drew the circle, I didn't make the shaded part a straight line. I made it curve around the circle. So when you shade the face, you should shade around the facial features. It doesn't really matter where you make the rounded parts in your shade, but just make sure it adds more depth to your drawing. Another thing that can help a drawing is by adding little details like shadows under the eyes and shadows in the ears. Something else that can help is adding a third shade. A third shade is a shaded part that's in a shaded area, so it would be the farthest away from the light or a cast shadow that's in the shade. Now just from the shading I added to the face, you can already tell that makes the drawing look way better and adds more depth to it. Now it's time to talk about how to shade with strong blacks and use cross hatching. I made sure to make this drawing kind of sloppy so I can show how much shading can really help. Even when you're shading with strong blacks, you still need to know where your light source is coming from. So for this, I'm going to make it come from the top right. Shading with black is the same as shading with normal colors, but you need to make sure not to add too much black, because it is pure black and it could cover up too much of your drawing. Now that I'm finished adding the black shade to my drawing, it's now time for the cross hatching. Cross hatching is basically using little lines to fade from the light to the dark. You need to make sure that the cross hatching lines go towards the light. When it's a really tiny shaded part, then you need to use tiny cross-hatching lines. But if you have a cast shadow that's pure black, make sure not to do any cross-hatching out of it. It just makes the cast shadow look unnatural. The little lines actually aren't called cross-hatching, that's just hatching. If you want to make it cross-hatching, then you'd have lines going the other way that intersect with the other ones. Personally, I like to stick with just hatching, because if I have too much cross-hatching, it just looks like a texture. Like I said earlier, if it's a smaller shaded part, then you're going to want to use smaller cross-hatching lines. But if it's a bigger shaded part like the shoulder, then you're going to want to use longer cross-hatching lines. I still do like to add some lines going the other way to add some cross-hatching, but I do it very sparingly like right here. You can break up the lines a little and add little dots like this around where your shaded part is. And now all you need to do is add the rest of your black shading and add cross-hatching and then you're done. Just from the shading and cross hatching I added, you can tell how much detail and how much better it makes the drawing look. I really hope this video was able to help you if you were struggling with shading, but that'll be it for this video. But comment if you want me to do any more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.